and we're playing another game for five-year-olds. It's a junior adventure. Look at his eyes. That looks like nachos and cheese. Yeah, that does not look like cereals. They're koala o's. What a bitch. So this is Spy Fox Dry Cereal. I don't know anything about this game because I never played this game as a child except for the demo. What a bitch. Look at his mouth. It's like... Nya, 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 he looks like he's unconscious because you can't see his pupils. Yeah. Always starts... It's somewhere. somewhere over the Mediterranean sea. <laughs> it's classified information exactly where he is. Would you like our Italian entree, sir? No, thanks. The milk is on his newspaper. Our vegetarian dinner this Hives. Milk gives me the vapors. What's vapors? I don't know. Then may I recommend the Greek plate? It's delicious. That's all right, if you insist. Enjoy. <laughs> it's delicious. Die. Good to see you, Agent Fox. Ah, Monkey Penny. Now this it's about time. Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> smile <laughs> fades from her face so quickly. She's like, well, this is a real TV dinner. Right. Shut the fuck up. Soon, the entire world's remaining milk reserves will be depleted. The idea of eating dry breakfast cereal is pretty hard to swallow. Yes, yes. <laughs> I love the jokes, man. <laughs> Shout out to Phil. Apparently, Phil and Mikey G talk about feta cheese every day. It's because, well, since he works at ShopRite, he, he he lied to this one old lady that was shopping around. She's like, do you have any feta cheese? He's like, oh yeah, we have a sale on it. It's over on the other side of the store. And he just, he just sent her on this wild goose chase. Yes. Really for feta cheese. What a cock. Your plane will be flying over the island. Is that Borneo? No. I've already set up the mobile command center. I'll rendezvous with me later on with Quack. The entrance code is in your fortune. Of course you do. It's in the fortune. No, I'm on my way. Good. Money penny out. It just self destructs. Such sophisticated music in the plane. Did you hear that? Bow, bow, bow! I wish I hadn't let my Who falls like that? Me. He's literally just standing in the air. Which should I pick? That one. This one? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> nope. <laughs> we have to try the other ones later. Uh, yep. Oh, oh, oh. Acidophilus. Yes. Happy hours apparently from two to four. It's like nothing. Oh well, let's go meet up with Quack and Monkey. What was that? Ass. It's a photograph of Mr. Utterly. It's a photograph of Mr. Utterly. What is That's like almost my phone number. Duh. Huh. Monkey Penny, it seems that you've finally given me your number. How about we go out sometime, baby? Mm -hmm. It's quack. Now that's a person to person phone call. Glad to be dropped. Hello, Monkey. That's Monkey Penny. So, what do you think of Sky Fox's new Greek island? That was racist. Spy Fox was just racist. Disguising it as a half buried boat in the middle of the town square with a stroke of genius. Nobody would ever notice that. That's <laughs> Professor Quack's idea. Where is Quack? Oh, he'll be here soon to refill the spy gadget vending machine. In the meantime, Final fucking lead. Couple of things ahead for your mission. She looks so bored all the time. I know. Without a broken wheel. How apt. Now pay attention. 
This is Greek money. It's called drachma. You, you get money in this game? Yep. You have to buy some stuff. And this is a, a toothbrush. And I sure could use one after that airplane meal. Don't put that in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, I could use this. Don't put that in your mouth. Mm, shit. You hold the laser toothbrush, apply the minty fresh laser gel, and push the button. Then you can use it to cut through really thick steel. Hmm. I guess that's one way to fight cavities. I was about to say the same thing. No solid evidence yet, but you might want to check out that feta factory down by the dock. Feta. Maybe it was feta cheese. cheese. Toothbrush. And moon. Moon and moon at the You know, some people say life is like an empty vending machine. It's true. Put in your quarter and all you get is a whole lot of nothing. Gee, you're in a depressing mood today, aren't you? <laughs> oh. Oh. No more fooling around. <laughs> Look at this guy. Good girl. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh shit. I was gonna point at him, but you know. Someone's interrupting me. It's probably monkey fuck. Oh, it was right. What? I just fucking saw you. Thanks for telling me. Uh, she probably gives you hints if you're stuck. Yeah, she does. You can do that in any game. I just don't. What the hell? I think it changes every time, too. Really? Those, they look like heifers. Wait. Hey, wait, what was the name of that duck from Camp Laszlo? Edward? The platypus? Yes. <laughs> hey, Edward, show me your tits. <laughs> this is the intro thing. Let's move on, please. <laughs> okay. Oops. I meant to click on the bag. Aww. This guy's got a, in some interesting fucking tattoos. Let's go to that feta factory. That's where it is? That's where she told us to go. Okay. To go. <laughs> He's so casual. Nog. The Rock. Well, that was, uh... Uneventful. Yeah. Here's where I keep... Oh! I love this. I love that sound. It's like... Pew! <laughs> Everything blows up. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the info, Spy Fox. <laughs> Flip through it. <laughs> he made it in his shape so he could flip through it. Ass. That's the ass. <laughs> no buts about it. <laughs> it's like the exact same. That's some sexy ass. His rump roast, yeah. You ready for the solution? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Spy Fox is like, what did I just do? I didn't know that. You could boil him? Yes. <laughs> Don't even do it. Just do it the right way. I want to... No, because I want to show you what happens. I want to show you what happens when you put it all the way up. Can you fail? No. Look at the fish. <laughs> Not to do it the right way. Thanks, I didn't notice. Eh. Come on. <laughs> They're wearing earmuffs. And one more for good luck.
Ready for one of the most weirdest scenes ever? What the hell? What the hell is that? Wow. Not only did his ass walk off, that fucking piranha. He doesn't look that worried to yell like that. Why don't you start from the beginning and tell us what happened? Well, it all started as a typical day at the office. Are you ready? This is what I was yeah, talking about with the eye. You're constantly fielding international cattle calls and doing grazing reports. Duh. There he is. Wait, it's coming. What the hell is that? Come on. <laughs> From Neocortex. There were dozens of them. I fucked them tooth and nail. Pow, 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 I did. My whole body is a weapon. Then suddenly, I smelled something revolting. It could only be one thing. Feta cheese. <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> Feta cheese, 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 cheese. Taking advantage of my momentary escape. Oh, my God. Kidnappers jumped me and then forced me into a smelly dark bag. Not smelly. Smelly. <laughs> Society of me is something, something, and yelling. Did you see that, like, yellow swag you just did? Oh shit. Second, he built that milky weapon of destruction inside his secret fortress. <laughs> the milky weapon Third, of destruction, aka the milky my milky dick. Weapon of destruction to flood the capital with none too fresh dairy milk. Fourth, frame all the poor dairy cows for this heinous... I love how we had all these drawings prepared. Take over the entire dairy world. Five off. <laughs> it's goat milk. Yeah. Disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Hmm. Sounds challenging. You have to be pretty damn creative to come up with a story that has to do with destroying the world with milk. Second time is a joke. I wonder what I have to do. <laughs> Look at him! Wow, Mike, it's inside of him. I wonder what I have to do. Good morning, Spy Fox. I took the liberty of loading the vending machine with some of my ingenious new spy gadgets. You should take a look at some of them, Spy Fox. They may come in handy. Move your fucking... Maybe you have to tickle him until he coughs it up. Of course. Or... Or... You just do that. X ray gum. How does this work, Professor Quack? Oh, please enlighten me. You quack. I'll explain how it works. You take a stick out, put it up against something beefy, move it around, and then you can see just for something beefy. Mm -hmm. the best part of all is I wonder who I have to use it on. Thank you, Tony. Of course. So I could see through her clothes. Yes. Yep. Here are the other gadgets. Ain't that the truth? Good. I love this thing. Cause this is just silly putty. Like that's literally what it is. 
Why does your phone go off in every fucking episode you're in? Because I'm being so butthurt. Of course. Makes sense. Those duplicitous duplicators stole my idea. <laughs> Is that everything? Eh, I don't know. Let's find out. It says empty. Well, this is empty because I have it. Oh. A shoe. And safe. Coin. Holy crap. Let's just wait. Well Let's use this on monkey penny. Crash. Nice. How about I use it on Quack? Maybe if I put it on Penny enough times, it'll work. Ah, shit. Crap. I wish I could skip this. Oh, apparently there's a cinnamon flavor. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Sugar-coated paper. I'm gonna guess that he created it. Let's use it on Spy Fox. Nope. Alright, let's do it on our bovine friend. Cool. Love how you use the scientific name or something like that. Head looks like a nutsack. What? An upside down nutsack. <laughs> That's one saggy nutsack. I mean this part right here. I'm talking about the whole thing. Holy crap, the entire thing's a nutsack. Why do you why do you pass out? Because I told him that he had to be x-rayed. Oh. And he's not okay with that. I love the sound. Ribs. A clock. A band-aid? Whatever that is. Aha! Will be no more. All right. It's a wrench. Sloppy Joes. Attack. A pencil. Pencil. A clock. A spaghetti on a fork Meat and loaf. knife. Another pencil? Alright, All we're right. done here. He's still kind of dead. Do we still keep the extra gum? I think, maybe, I don't know. Alright, let's go upstairs. Of course, we have to use it on Monkey Penny. Oh, the guy's open. Trinket Man? I love the Trinket Man, he's such an asshole. Alright, let's see. He's such an apathetic asshole. He looks fat. Looks like he lives with his mom. It looks like Phil. Jar of trinkets. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck, it's Gilbert. The jar of trinkets. I like the jar of trinkets, but I'm wondering if you have them in can. It's uncanny <laughs> to ask me that because just this morning, <laughs> uncanny. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they won't be here till next week. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna buy them. So, what's a jar of trinkets going for these days? Uh, normally, sir, they're 20 drachmas, but for you, how about 50? Sounds good to me. 50? 15. <laughs> I think. Maybe 50. There you go, sir. Why, thank you. I might need them. Absolutely. Bye, bitch. How much is that kid stuffed kitty you have there? It is a little expensive, sir. But I would be happy to throw in some free stuffed kitty litter. 
Ew. Let's just leave. Yeah. Do we have an infinite amount of money? Yes. Oh, so we can just buy everything in the world? Yeah. It's pretty funny. Well, I think that should end this part. Alright, that's For fine. now. Let's save our progress. <coughs> that's cute. Let's name it... Bot... T... G. Alright. Cool. Alright, guys. This is Bottles. Mikey G. Goodbye. Man, move the fucking patient strong bully from his chest cavity to get on with our freaking lives. Like, These readings aren't good. Treat the